Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at pure mathematics exam question on integration as a limit of a summation. Let's have a look at the question. Show that the limit as delta x tends to zero of the sum from x equal two to x equal three of x minus three in brackets squared all over x to the power three over two delta x is equal to p square root two plus q square root three, where p and q are constants to be found. Now. Pause the video, have a go at the question. Once you've got your complete solution, then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution. Ladies and gents, by definition, we know that the limit as delta x tends to zero of the sum from x equal two to three of x minus three in bracket squared all over x to the power three over two delta x is equal to the integral from two to three of x minus 3 in bracket squared all over x to the power 3 over 2 dx. Now we're going to be integrating this fraction. That there cannot be integrated as of yet. We need to simplify the fraction. So I'm going to open this bracket into two brackets, expand and simplify, and then divide each term by x to the power 3 over 2 to get an expression that can be integrated. So that is my first step. So I've got x minus 3, x minus 3, double brackets, all over x to the power 3 over 2. So I can start by expanding the double brackets. I've got x squared minus 3x minus 3x, which is minus 6x, plus 9, all over x to the power 3 over 2. Now I can divide each term by x to the power 3 over 2. So I've got x squared over x to the power 3 over 2 minus 6x over x to the power 3 over 2 plus 9 over x to the power 3 over 2. So for the first two terms, I can use laws of indices to simplify it. So if I'm dividing, I'm technically subtracting the powers. So the first term becomes x to the power a half minus second term becomes 6x to the power minus a half for the third term, I can bring the x to the power 3 over 2 to the top, but this will negate the power. So I'll get 9x to the power minus 3 over 2. So integrating this fraction is technically integrating this particular expression. So now I can take this solution a step further. I've got the integral from 2 to 3. This fraction is this expression here. So x to the power a half minus 6x to the power minus a half plus 9x to the power minus 3 over 2 dx. Okay, so now I can use the one integration. I can add 1 to the power, divide by the new power. So I'm going to do term by term integration, starting off with the first term. So the first term integrates to 2 over 3, x to the power 3 over 2. The second term integrates to minus 12, x to the power a half, the third term integrates to minus 18, x to the power minus a half. Lower limit 2, upper limit 3. So now I can substitute x equal 3. Whatever I get, subtract, substitute x equal 2. So if I substitute x equal 3 as of yet, my calculator will give me a decimal number. So for example, if I was to substitute 3 to the power a half, I'll get a decimal number. Instead of writing 3 to the power of half, I should write square root of 3. Because if I keep everything in root form, I'll get an exact answer, not a decimal number. So what I'll do now is I'll take this a step further and I'll rewrite it as follows. So I've got 2 over 3. x to the power 3 over 2 is the same as square root x raised to the power 3. Minus second term becomes... 12 square root x minus the third term becomes 18 over square root x using laws of indices. Okay, so lower limit 2, upper limit 3. Everything is in root form. Now, if I substitute x equal 3 directly in using my calculator, I'll get an exact answer, not a decimal answer. So that stage in the working out is crucial. We want to arrive at an exact answer. So let's start off by substituting x equal 3. So I've got 2 over 3, square root 3 to the power 3, 
minus 12 square root 3 minus 18 over square root 3. Take away, substitute, x equal 2. So I've got 2 over 3 square root 2 to the power 3 minus 12 square root 2 minus 18 over square root 2. So if I use my calculator to simplify this, ladies and gents, this one over here, using my calculator, gives me minus 16 root 3. Okay? Take away, if I put this into my calculator and I simplify it, I get precisely minus 59 over 3 root 2. So the two negatives become positive, so I've got minus 16 root 3 plus 59 over 3 root 2. I can swap the two terms to get that particular form. So I've got 59 over 3 root 2 minus 16 root 3. Therefore, my P will equal 59 over 3 and my Q will equal minus 16. And that there, ladies and gents, completes this teaching video on pure mathematics exam question integration as a limit of a summation. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notifications so that you will receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.